Tonight we are seeing body cam video that shows the moments that led to an officer involved shooting on Rock Quarry Road. All of this unfolded on a late night in February. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live taking a closer look at that video and talks to experts reviewing the officer's actions. So what did you hear and what did they tell you? Yeah, what we do know is that this was an incident that, again, happened back in February. They said officers first responded to a shooting in this area. It's a situation that escalated into a parking lot. And at one point, we do hear about 18 rounds that go off. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Police! Drop the gun! Drop it! It's the moment you see Raleigh Police Officer M.L. Berg confronts a man in dark clothing carrying a gun. Moments before the officer fires several times. Raleigh police say all of it happening after officers responded to a domestic shooting. Police later identifying the man in dark clothing as Ranzis Vargas, who they say shot two women in a vehicle nearby. In a preliminary report, police say the suspect not only refused commands, but also darted behind a red pickup about the same time Officer Berg fired his gun. Detective Sergeant Robert Young, a retired commanding officer of the FBI NYPD Joint Bank Robbery Task Force, says he believes the officer's actions are justified, but a few questions still remain. That now brings you to another level. Your blood is pumping fast. Your heart is racing. You now want to get to the scene where the actual shooting took place. So he runs to the corner where he now confronts an individual who has a firearm. My understanding, I could not see the firearm clearly in the video. Okay, but the officer had a view of that firearm because he verbally stated to the individual, drop the gun. Young says the body cam doesn't clearly show if Vargas took a defensive position behind the truck, which would also be a major question in determining if the officer overshot. The SBI tells us that they have been investigating this situation. They said they have actually turned over the case file to the district attorney's office. And Raleigh Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. All right, Mariah, thank you for the update.